This is WLOX News Now Weekend. Your news starts right now. Debris and destruction in St. Martin as an unconfirmed tornado hits, leaving a trail of damage. Severe weather dumping rain all across South Mississippi, making driving especially difficult along Highway 90. Flooding now the issue in many areas. We'll take you live to where the water is rising and check out this live shot of Highway 90 in Biloxi, where traffic appears to be moving along rather smoothly as thousands of spring breakers inside the Coliseum right now for a big concert. Thanks for joining us. Cars thrown, glass shattered, roofs collapsed. St. Martin hit hard by an unconfirmed tornado. Mike Lacey joins us live right now with the very latest. David, it is a mess out here. This is Lemoyne Plaza right off Lemoyne Boulevard in St. Martin. And this is what we're looking at right now. Look, take a look at this damage over here. There is a, an awning that has collapsed on cars in front of this business. And right over here, more of the awning came down and throughout the whole plaza. This is Lemoyne Plaza, 13 businesses here, and all of them have had some kind of damage. Like you said, windows shattered, roofs are falling in, brick walls collapsing. Earlier today, we were told by officials here that a tornado, or what they think was a tornado, had hit about 6:10 this afternoon. Winds came in, picked up. Uh, these cars and threw them across the parking lot, crushing them. We're having wreckers coming in right now trying to clear out this mess right now. And then we have debris all over the place. Damage uh, all, all throughout this parking lot here. Business owners coming out, they're cleaning up right now, doing the best that they possibly can. But tomorrow, obviously, will be the time when they have to do most of the work and then on for a long time. Uh, it looks like uh, the, when the business owners were coming in, uh, they were doing the best that they can. Windows are being boarded up. Doors are being boarded up. And uh, they, they look like they are going to be try to move some of these cars as we're, we're as we're talking but some of the business owners when we were coming up they were just standing around as if they were shocked and in awe about what happened and one of those business owners Richard Stratton says that he's practically going to have to start all over again I've got seven rooms and uh, looks like three of them are pretty well damaged the rest of the store looks okay because part of the walls missing part of my ceilings missing It's a mess, and we're not sure exactly how far this tornado went, but at least a mile or more, we saw some damage uh, there at uh, Big Ridge Road when we came in. At least a mile away from this area, there was a chicken coop that uh, was destroyed, and there were damaged trees all through the area people were cleaning up. We'll certainly keep you up to date on this as it develops and as the recovery continues. Later on on WLOX News and WLOX.com, reporting live in St. Martin, Mike Lacey, WLOX. OX News Now. Pretty devastating. Good luck to everybody in St. Martin. And with that severe weather, of course, serious flooding is kind of the next step in most cases. Hugh Keaton joins us now live from Harrison County. And uh, Hugh, how's it looking out there tonight? Well, Dave, I can tell you that the rain has let up significantly. It's barely even sprinkling right now. I'm on Old Highway 49 between Gulfport and Socher, and this is a part of Old Highway 49 that's been closed for several hours, and I'm going to show you why. Take a look back here. If you can see, we're going to zoom in on this. This is a car that got washed right off the road into the ditch. You see it there, and the person driving the car had to be rescued, pulled out of there. I'm told that uh, they were safe, no trouble, and uh, we take a look at some video of this from earlier as the water's really kind of cleared uh, over the road, but earlier it was rushing. We could, it was Really, uh, you could hear the water just rushing right across the road, and it would be easy to see how a car could have been washed off of the road as this is uh, on old Highway 49, and uh, several roads around Harrison County had to be closed tonight while uh, crews worked to get them open, really, and to help the water recede. That's the biggest thing. I'm not far from the uh, old or the uh, 
Little Biloxi River here, and uh, the water was backed up. Now, not far from here, a little bit closer to Socher on West Wortham Road, uh, the water caused significant damage to the road as there was a washout right on the side of the road, and West Wortham off uh, in between Highway 49 and Old 49 had to be closed, and it was closed for quite some time while crews repaired that, and I'm told that uh, the repair work is going well, and Old High or West Wortham Road is about to be reopened, and here's the direct of uh, Harrison County Road uh, Works uh, to explain exactly what the problem was there on West Wortham. One of the crossovers that actually had split and fell down and when it did all the water had run up to the shoulder of the road and actually eroded it about four foot underneath the roadway. So what we're going to do tonight is just fill it up with, with rip wrap and uh, get the bank stabilized so we can get, get the road open back up for traffic. And it does look like they're getting close to opening West Wortham Road once again. And I can tell you that conditions are improving significantly. This uh, old Highway 49 remains closed, but I, I bet it, uh, it will be open uh, within the next hour or so as the water is really receded back, as you could tell in the video that we showed just a little Hugh Keaton live up in Harrison County where flooding continues to be a problem. Meanwhile, check this out. Earlier today, a water spout twisting onto Highway 90 in Long Beach. A viewer capturing the scary moments as the spout spun ashore. Now that water spout causing damage to at least three boats in the Long Beach Harbor. As you can see, the twisting weather tearing the roof off one of those boats. The harbor master says he saw the water spout pass over. Fortunately, no one was hurt. And take a look at this. A good Samaritan in Gulfport using a four-wheeler to free a police car that was stuck in some pretty high water. This video sent to us by viewer Kimberly Sinclair. Well, we knew it was going to be a busy weather day, and it certainly turned out to be so. Eric Johnson is here right now to tell us more about what we can ex expect and really what happened today, Eric. Yeah, Dave, definitely all the ingredients came together for some pretty significant weather for South Mississippi. Now, as we go throughout the overnight hours, we're going to continue to see that flooding risk throughout the area. So all that water, it's going to start receding and eventually we're going to be dealing with some river flooding. Now, technically, there is a tornado watch for Jackson County that will continue until 2 a.m. However, the severe weather risk really is much lower now. We're now only going to see mostly those heavy downpours off and on throughout the overnight hours. Now, tomorrow is going to be cooler and a lot quieter. Looking at the radar now, here's that line of storms that caused all the flooding that we were just looking at. This is the same line of storms that caused the tornadoes across South Mississippi but we're still dealing with the flooding. We had flood warnings in effect or flash flood warnings for George County, but those have been allowed to expire at 945 off towards the south, though. We're still dealing with flash flood warnings until 1030 tonight. So for about another 20 minutes for Jackson and Harrison counties, and we continue to watch this heavy rain coming out of New Orleans, moving up towards Mandeville. And again, all that's going to move over South Mississippi areas that have already seen heavy rain. So we'll continue to watch this. We'll have much more on when we can expect things to finally dry out and plus how much cooler it's going to be tomorrow morning. Already beginning to feel those cool temperatures. As we've shown you, flooding an issue right now in Long Beach and past Christiane. Rushing water quickly making several roads impassable, as many of you may have experienced. Bill Snyder, live in Long Beach with the very latest. Bill. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Ironically, we're set up here at Long Beach Harbor. It's very tranquil right now, but as we saw with the water spout, it wasn't earlier today. Then you had those heavy rains, and when you have rains like that and they fall quickly, you have issues. You have flooded roadways, you have accidents, and trouble for just about everyone involved. As the rain fell harder, the water rose quickly. In areas of Gulfport off Dito Road, standing water made getting into Lauren Heights a real challenge. A Creosote Road and Taylor Boulevard, this Camaro was stuck in a ditch. The police responded. Fortunately, the driver was okay. I tried to dart, dive that water pocket over there and end up going in that water pocket. Mm. It's pretty bad, pretty bad weather. Then off of 28th Street and 55th Avenue, this car had a dicey trip down the flooded street. 
In Long Beach and past Christiane, the second wave of nasty weather brought heavy wind and rain and turned Minge Avenue into a slow go for drivers. Off Espy Avenue, Robin Rafferty and his neighbor across the street fought a losing battle as rainwater clogged the drains and cars turned floodwaters into boat wake. The, the neighbor uh, across the street, I think he came out earlier and, and he tried to do it, but then it became uh, futile. What's, what's been so bad is the people driving through here constantly in the wave action going in, I know, into his house. Yeah, there were some dicey moments all over the place this afternoon with that heavy rain, and it's estimated by radar estimates six to seven inches of rain fell in the Long Beach past Christian area. In Long Beach, Bill Schneider, WLOX News Now. And the severe weather knocking out power to about 4,000 people here in South Mississippi. More than 2,200 Mississippi Power customers without power in the three coastal counties right now. Singing River Electric, about 1,500 in Jackson, George, and Greene counties. And Coast Electric reporting 60 customers in Harrison County without power at this time. Well, the party continuing tonight. Spring break celebrations happening down at the Mississippi Coast Coliseum. We'll take you there live. The moment is made meaningful. Tonight, Biloxi police putting the crowd estimate for this year's edition of spring break between 30 and 40,000 happening at this moment outside the Coast Coliseum. Rain still falling ever so gently at this point, but inside spring breakers are having a good time. Ray Price live in Biloxi with details from tonight's spring break concert. Well, Dave, despite what some people may have believed or thought, the rain didn't have much of an effect on the spring breakers or their fun. Now, I was down at the Coast Coliseum earlier today with our photographer, Eric, and from what it seemed like from what we saw, there's almost nothing that can stop these spring breakers from having a good time out here. Drenching downpours and tornado warnings may have forced the fun to relocate indoors, but it definitely didn't put a stop to it. Carloads of spring breakers ran into the Coast Coliseum seeking shelter from the storm ahead of tonight's concert. You're not letting rain stop you. Oh, no. My birthday was the other day, baby. I'm turning up the whole month. <laughs> Despite the rain, just under 9,000 tickets were sold for the event. A lot of people been crammed in the hotels all day. They just want to come out now and have a good time. We got a little bit of a break earlier today in the weather, so, you know, we're making the best of it. And tomorrow we'll close it out and have a great day. And it was even more lit once the concert started. Major headliners like Lil Wayne, Yo Gotti, and Rick Ross, just to name a few, were sure to get the people going. It's a, it's my first time, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, time, you know, if you have fun, not turn up, be safe out here. Staying dry and most importantly, staying safe. With the amount of people coming into the venue, the security team has made sure that everything remains calm. We've had no problem with anything. Everything has run uh, smooth. All the patrons that have come on the property uh, have uh, complied and followed the rules uh, uh, all the way up to this point. And Now the concert's supposed to end at 11 o'clock tonight and the rain has slacked up and the traffic for the most part on this part of Highway 90 is moving smoothly. But I can guarantee back uh, eastbound towards um, the Coliseum on Beauvoir Road, it's going to be a mess with the traffic still going on when people are trying to make their way out of the Coliseum after the concert tonight. We'll just have to see how all that plays out later tonight. Reporting in Biloxi, I'm Ray Price, WLOX News Now. Well, the thing to do today was basically salvaging the fun. Spring breakers spent the morning trying to enjoy the day before the stormy weather moved in. On and off showers had some people running for cover at times. The weather also forced some vendors to shut down a wee bit early. Even though crowds were noticeably smaller, most people who made their way out say they are going to make the best of a wet situation. Hey, I'm from here. I'm actually a resident of Mississippi, so, you know, it, it, it's nothing that I, abnormal. You know, I feel like everything going to come together. It's a breeze. You just got to go with the flow. It ain't nothing to it. The weather try to stop everything, but it ain't going to stop our shine. Mm. Many spring breakers say they plan to be back out tonight once the storm passes through, and then there's still a little bit of time left tomorrow to have some fun. And while the worst of the storms are moving out, we're still watching heavy rain moving back into South Mississippi. We'll have a complete update when we come back. 